All right, so we've got uh, Nisei Division versus Kate. Should be interesting. I'm hoping that his deck is a slower one. Uh, opening hand is okay. There's no econ here. So I'm going to go for a mulligan and hope that it, uh, <laughs> it works out for me. And I guess that's not too bad. So here we go. First draw is nice. So we've got a sweeps week. I'm thinking to hit the sweeps uh, into green level and then protect R and D. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, I will go with that. And even more money. Wow. And hit R and D. It's just gonna suck if he runs HQ and takes and takes my Nisei's. But we'll try it anyway. And that's my turn. It's really gonna suck if he does that. No. So he's going for broke here. Sure gamble into Proco, into Clone Chip, and that's his turn. Yeah, I should have went. Should have went for it. So DBS, it's a good draw. Take more money and go. So I'm hoping that DBS draws me some ice so I can throw down that Nisei in a server and try to start scoring something out real quick before he gets his rig set up. It's crucial that I score my first Nisei before his rig gets anything out there really. He's gone Proco twice and data folding and another clone chip. So he's leaving me a good opening here. And there's Crick, which I don't need to install yet. Oh shit, I forgot to I forgot to res the business show, but that's my fault. So little one two and try to score it out now, why not? I can't believe I forgot, I forgot to raise business show, man. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So he goes Proco for one. So a credit and draws a card. I just don't want to see SMC. Don't want to see SMC. Draws another card in the credit. Installs SMC, damn it. That is no good. So you gotta res Nisei and the ice at the same time. And I guess he's gonna go grab his breaker right now. So Snowflake is now useless for the rest of the game. Well, depending on what he grabs actually, he only has seven bucks. It's gonna cost him two bucks to pop the SMC. And then whatever it costs to install his breaker. And then actually boosting it and breaking. So I'm gonna see if he's actually using it. He hasn't said anything yet. Okay, he says he's gonna pop it. Just waiting for him to do it. So I mean it's not too bad if he breaks this, because I'm still gonna get to play the side game with him. I'll get one credit back from the Nisei division, so if I spend two, it won't be so bad for me. It'll suck for him, because um, I do have 12 credits, so it'll be like I spent, well, nah, it'll be like I spent the one, if you don't count the Nisei cost. So it's really not a problem for me, and this will just a Gia, Gia hands anyways if he steals it. But I do got Crick up. So he decides not to go for it. He's probably just going to play the side game. Yeah, so he decides to play the side game. 
I'll spend two on this one. See what he tries to do. Like I said, you get the one back uh, after you guys have both revealed. So yeah, he spelled, spent one, which I thought he would. I don't know why he took two bucks though. Why'd you take two? Oh, never mind. For SMC, my bad. So go ahead and score that. Forgot to res the business show again. <laughs> it's a good thing that's in the deck not to use it. It's my bad. So he proco and he gains a buck for data folding. Dyson mem chip. Damn. This guy's balling out right now. And he decides to hit. Uh I'll res it for a buck, see if he wants to grab his barrier breaker now. Decides to fire. I'm gonna spend zero to make a buck off of it back. Rejected. <laughs> he spends one, so we're good. <laughs> That's why you gotta love side games, man. You gotta love the side games. Another data folding. Crap. I gotta get a move on. I'm hoping that this is a, is a Nisei that I draw here. So I can install Advance once and put an ice over top of Snowflake. That is four clicks. He ends his turn with two credits. But he will gain two at the beginning of his turn for data folding. I'll res DBS now. Finally. Another Gia Hands. Which I don't really need. So I'll take money. And... Install... Guard there. The reason why I went over HQ is because I don't want to lose my second Nisei. I don't want to lose the Gia hands. It sucks because it slows me down. But uh, hopefully that DPS speeds it up a little bit for me. Let's me see what I need to see. So his first two clicks are Procon. Draw two cards, gets two credits. So he's up to six credits now. Two clicks left. God, I wish I scored a Nisei, man. And I guess he's just thinking because he's not doing anything yet. Nope. What? What is this? What is this? Nope. He's gonna parasite. Oh, there we go. Parasites the snowflake over R and D, which is to be expected, really. And then last click, Proco. Future perfect. Dare I try to score it now? Dare I try to score it now? He has six bucks. He's gonna be at eight when his turn starts. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'm not gonna go for it. Oh, I chose the wrong card. Oh man, DBS, why? I should have read before I clicked it. Crap. Well, that was stupid. That was a terrible idea. Um, crap, man. Draw a card. That was such a bad idea. Draw a card. Oh man. I messed that up royally. I wanted the green level. So the one that you click goes to the bottom with DBS on Octagon. My bad. It's Parasite's at one. Still got some space. His first click is Proco, so he's up to nine credits now.
I could totally go for this future perfect, sand sand it, and just play the side game. Nope. There we go. Atman comes in at three. Which is not gonna be enough. Too much actually. So he can SMC here, but he's not gonna be able to afford anything for two bucks. Uh, unless he has fairy, which he doesn't, so he jacks out. And what does he do now? I guess he's thinking. And he's still thinking. It's not really much to think about when you have four credits and one click left. I mean. Oh, he rolls with the SMC. What's he gonna pull up for two bucks? Another parasite? I'm not really sure what his plan is here. So he decides not to again. That's brutal, man. If this was tournament play, I'd be like, nah, bro. There's That's twice. <laughs> Come on. So he spends one to break, then we gotta play the side game. I spent two and I spent zero. He spent one and one both times. So this time I'm gonna spend two. Then again, he probably won't care to spend two. Login rejected. He spent zero. That's fine. It only cost me one buck. And wasted a click for him. Alright, so the one that we want to go. Sent to the bottom. So we'll send Lotus Field. Send Lotus Field. Go like this. And then. So we put Guard out um, over Snowflakes, paid one, and then Gear Hands back up to 10. Got to deal with this parasite soon. Next turn, it's out of there. Good thing is he locked himself out because Atman can't break it now. So first click Proco, second click, click Proco. And hoping that I draw some ice right now. Same old thing. Actually, I'm almost willing to just install Future Perfect and sand sand it and go up to four points. That's why I wish I scored a two pointer first, because then I'd only be one agenda away from winning, really. Um, pipeline. Code Gate Breaker. No, sorry, Study Guide. Code Gate Breaker, where he has to pay money to boost it. And it keeps that strength. So two bucks to give it plus one for good. There's the Nisei. So send that to the bottom. And we are going to install Nisei and sand sand it. And my turn. Snowflake's gonna go, which kinda sucks because now RD's wide open for two turns. Ah well one turn, because if I can score Nisei out, I'll still have that one click to do something. But we'll see. We will see what he does. He probably has a maker's eye just waiting. Nope, RMD interface, same thing. Good enough. See his two cards. Don't screw me, please. Nothing. Whiffs. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I saw that say. Damn it. Damn it. Runs it again. Two cards, there we go, there's, there's the whiff. One click left, he only has two bucks, he's probably gonna take a credit. Or no, he's gonna pro code because he only has four cards. Pro 
Proco. He takes a manual credit. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and he couldn't afford the uh, NAPD, so that's what happened. Um, so we will drop NAPD to the bottom of the deck. Throw guard down right here. And double advance. Score. And see what happens. So now we've got that one counter to end the run with. If he's smart, he'll run R&D. No, he's going to install Parasite on guard. Yep. That's okay. That's fine. If he runs R&D, I probably won't even res this guard, to be honest. As much as I should. As much as I should. two cards. Screw it, I'll do it. Keep him out for a bit, why not? And I have uh Login rejected. Gia hands to get my money back. And then just hope that I draw like a green level or celebrity gift or any of the many econ cards that are in this deck that I'm just not seeing currently after the first couple of turns. So third click, he goes for Proco. Four cards, five bucks. And his last click will be... Actually, the best thing right now would be if I drew Sand Sand. Then again, I wouldn't be able... Nah, never mind. We need money. Sweeps weak versus he has five cards he has five cards he has five cards sweeps week will give me four this will give me two screw it we'll take the sweeps i guess i feel like i shouldn't take the sweeps Sweeps is four, because he has five cards in hand. This is two, and I see a card, which could be more econ. And I have Gia hands anyway, so we'll do this. See a card, which is Enigma. And then take money. Uh, I don't really like that turn. I don't like that turn, and I don't like this Gia hands. If that was a two pointer, if that was brain trust or something. Although it's making me money, so I. Ah, it's rough. But if that was a two pointer, I would just play Future Perfect and score and win the game. And it'd be so much easier. So his first click is a Parasite, second click is Underworld Contact, third click is Clone Chip something. I don't know what he did with that Clone Chip, he just blew it for something. I don't know why. Plays a sure gamble. Still lost as to why he blew that Clone Chip. Uh, he's nine bucks. He's willing to play the side game on his last click. Not gonna res. He's gonna pay a buck and then we're gonna side game it out. Spend zero. See what he does. Login rejected. <laughs> he spends one. Poor guy. He just can't win. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That sucks. I'll drop this celebrity gift and take the second Nisei. Install. It sucks that this is gonna go. Double advance. 
see what he does. So he's in a weird spot here. He has lots of money. Oh, sorry. Guard's gone. So that's a free run. I hope he hits future perfect. He doesn't. He whiffs. That sucks. He's the enigma. Sees the enigma. If I can get this Nisei out, we'll be in pretty good shape here. He has three clicks left, nine credits. Rejected. Uh, decides not to run it anymore. Okay. He seems very indecisive. So he decides to pro con instead. Maybe to install a sentry or hope that he finds a sentry breaker. I don't know. He installed something. I can't see what it is. Snowball. Then runs. Uh, snowball then runs. And the run. Unless he clone chips something. All get rejected. Oh, I wish this was a two pointer so badly. Put me to six. Then I could score a gear hands and win. So he is out of there. Uh, DBS. I'll take the money. Take the money. I'm gonna be poor though. Yeah, I'll drop that to the bottom. One. Two. For it and money. Oh, too many cards. All right, so we've got two Nisei counters. Guard is gone. Shit. <laughs> you could lose it all right here. Could lose it all right here. Three cards. NAPDs, please. Nope, he pays to get rid of Psychic Field. Then he's gonna run it again, I guess. Please. Please, we need money, please. NAPD would be great, actually. Or no, 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 green level. So I can play green level into NAPD, install, and advance once in the Nisei server. He's gonna put another Parasite, I guess. For his last click. No, he decides to run HQ. Please hit future perfect. And I just need to win this damn side game. I'm gonna spend zero. No! <laughs> no, he took it. He got it. Shit balls. That just changed everything. That just changed everything. I don't know why I didn't end the run, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, shit, take Lotus Field. Crap, what was I doing? Why didn't I just end the run? Hindsight's 2020, but well, damn. Totally should have just ended the run. Oh, what am I doing? 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, but I want to save these two counters, that's why. Silly, that was a bad mistake. That won't happen again. That won't happen again. I'm not much of a Jinteki player. I can't believe I just did that, man. Such a rookie mistake. Uh, I'm not even going to bother ending the run. If he takes the one pointer, he takes it. There it is. If he takes it, he takes it. That is such a huge swing. Stupid Kate Parasite Dex, damn it. I hate when people do that, like I know that the run is successful, just give me a chance to click the button. Parasite. Please. RN Jesus, let me draw. Actually, no, I can't draw Future Perfect. I already buried it. I screwed myself. I just screwed myself. I buried my second Future Perfect, so I can't win. Unless I draw a two pointer. And he has one of my Niseis, so NAPD is my only hope. And then he just takes two Procos. <laughs> Double Jackson. I love you, Octagon, you freaking dink. Octagon's so good. Octagon's so good. If he has Siphon, I'm going to be pissed. I shouldn't even have done that now that I'm thinking about it. I'm making some terrible decisions. Double code gate? I forgot that this was a freaking Lotus Field. Stupid. He has 8 bucks. Oh my god. I'm just hoping that I can shuffle that back to the top actually no it doesn't even matter because now this is going to be gone yep oh crap that sucks that really sucks uh two strength so it's going to cost him two four five six bucks cost him six bucks I'll just do Lotus Field, why not? And if he pays for it and breaks it, can he even? No, he doesn't have enough money. Cost him eight to get to four strength, and then nine to break, what? Yo, what? Code gate, not barrier. What's he doing? Not, what is he doing? <laughs> he says, damn, sorry, wrong. And he only paid three, like what? <laughs> three strength? It clearly says four. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he does now. He can't afford it. Login rejected. So he bounces. Uh, screwed myself, man. Installed another Dyson. Runs HQ with no cards. Okay. No cards in HQ. That's fine. <laughs> sure. And last click. He 
writes, you have no cards, man. Well, uh, I'm not giving you your click back because I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> One click left. Last click, he decides to... Run archives. I'll just pretend that I had stuff in there. And I'll take back my... Nisei. I'll take back... A San San, and I'll take back... Psychic field. All three cards are face up, but he probably hasn't paid attention. Kidding me? Ugh. Whatever, bury the snowflake. Give me money. And give me money. Brutal. Oh man. Alright, he has nine bucks. And this is gone. He has nine bucks, which is enough to break Lotus Field. And the fact that I double stacked kind of sucks right now, because all he has to do is play for Study Guide once, and he's good to go. He's still running the Nisei. He's still running the Nisei. Get rejected. Doesn't get it. Three clicks to go. Katie Jones. He's gonna click Katie. Most people don't install her and just leave her there, so I'm assuming he's gonna click her. Clicks Katie and then runs HQ to see the last card in my hand. Which I wouldn't leave one agenda in my hand, bro. I wish it was a damn snare because he only has three cards in him. Running on last click. I wish it was anything. Anything trap trappy. Oh my god. Marcus. Actually, nah. Oops, wrong thing. Put Marcus because it'll cost him more. Then, if he decides to run R and D, and then later on when I try to score on this server, he decides to run it. So you gotta get in for one buck. So I don't want that to happen. But then again, I'm an idiot because Atman's at three. Oh my god, I didn't even look at that. So first click Proko, second click Sure Gamble. Then he decides to run R&D. Shit. No res. So he'll spend his nine now. one to break 
Oh, he did. Login rejected. I use my counter. If he's smart, he'll just run it again because it'll cost him a dollar. And he has five. Nope, he goes for Katie Jones instead. And of course, I draw trash. Barry Jackson. Study guide so good with a three strength Atman, which is just whooping my butt right now. Ugh. Terrible. I was hoping for an NAPD right there. Man, this is rough. I wish I didn't do that. He would have dug R and D and not seen anything. Then again, I wouldn't see anything either. But still, so his first click is Proco. Second click Proco. Not sure what he's searching for. I guess he doesn't know that his rig is set up pretty nicely. Um, Ten bucks. Not gonna res. He'll probably win it on this one right here. He should. Login uh, rejected. Pop my counter. If I was smart, I wouldn't have done that before, so that he would have paid three bucks and then another three. Would have put him down to four. Still enough to steal NAPD though, so. <clears throat> so that's no bueno. First card, second card. Yeah, there it is. He got the NAPD. Good game. That is the first defeat of this damn deck. All because I'm an idiot and I should have ended the run on that future perfect. Ah, that is frustrating. That was a totally winnable game. If I would have ended the run on that HQ run when he tried, when he stole the future perfect, because I had the two counters, then I could have put it down that turn and went from there. Um, I think that would have changed things a lot. One, Two, he got really lucky with the Parasite draws and uh, taking out the the guards, which also sent me back a lot. But we'll continue to playtest this deck and switch some cards around. Um, I'm going to be doing some live matches with it this week as well. So if you saw anything that I did wrong, please feel free to let me know and uh, look forward to the next couple of videos. Peace.